Hi, I'm Trevor. Life is full of a lot of tough decisions, but thanks to science, we can write a program that can make those for us. Today we'll be learning about if and else statements. So what if statements are, is they're kind of like logic. You oftentimes say stuff like, you know, if it's rain outside, then I'll bring an umbrella with me. Well, in programming, if statements follow that same sort of logic. So we'll have like, if it's raining, then I'll bring an umbrella. So inside of these parentheses here, we put our condition. So it might be something like, if it is raining, if x equals three, our sensor is reading that the robot's closed, something like that. And then inside of these brackets here, we have our then part. So if it's raining, then I'll bring an umbrella. And then whether or not it does this inner part, it'll end up doing whatever code comes after it as well. So this is just kind of the basic structure of an if statement. But along with that, we can also add in an else for what we're supposed to do if it's not raining. So if it's raining, then I'll bring my umbrella. Otherwise, I will not bring it. So if this is true, we'll bring an umbrella. If this is false, then we will not bring it. Now we can also add even more things. Let's say you know we're going for a walk and it's really bright outside. Then I might want my sunglasses. So I could say, if it's raining, then I'll bring my umbrella. Otherwise, if it is bright outside, then I'll bring my sunglasses. Otherwise, I will not bring either of them. So that's kind of the basic structure of how ifs and else's work. And we can go through and let's say, you know, we wanted to add in more. We could add in several else ifs of each of them a different thing. We just need to make sure that the first one in our setup is a if, then we do else ifs, and then the very last one is an else. If you get those kind of mixed around, the, it won't work right. So we have to do it in this order. All right, so now let's do it with something that's a little bit closer to actual code here. So let's change it. Let's say we have, we write our sensor and we saved it into something called sensor. So now we can check. So if our sensor is less than six, then we'll drive forward. Otherwise, if our sensor is greater than 15, we'll back up. And um, if we're, our sensor reads between six and 15, then we'll stay right where we are. So we can use code like this to, um, for a lot of different purposes. And ifs and elses and elses help us do a, make a lot of decisions in our programs. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you guys learned a lot about if and else statements and how we can use them to control what happens and doesn't happen in our programs. If you guys have any more questions, please leave a comment down below and have a great day.